Welcome to my fifth day in London. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to be the last video I'm filming in this um, hotel room or if I'm going to film something tomorrow before I leave. So um, just let's talk about today. Today was a very long day and it was a big shopping day for me. Um, so first of all I went to Harrods and uh, I was just walking around, um, not really expecting to buy anything, but um, I was walking from one floor to another, and I found this. So this is a new portemonnaie. I needed a new purse, and uh, I thought, well, this looks great. So I bought this, and I'm really happy about my choice, um, because I think this is, First of all, a really nice souvenir because it says Harrods on here and second of all, it's the right size. So I'm happy about my new portemonnaie from Harrods. Um, after that, like I said, I did not expect to buy anything and I was walking on the next floor. I'm not sure where I bought this on which floor, I think it was the second or the third and um, then I was um, at a floor where there were Rice and um, Michael Kors, Tom Ford and all that stuff um, right next to each other and I'm a Michael Kors fan, I have two bags at home and I was looking for a grey Michael Kors bag for so long and um, I saw two grey Michael Kors bags there and I ran there and had a look at them and I thought, well, they are not really the style I wanted, but if they have nothing else, um, I will buy at least one of them. So these were uh, two different styles of bags. The first one was a little one, and the other one was a bit bigger, um, for about 360 pounds or something like that. And I thought, well, it's a lot of money, but um, if they do not have any other grey bags from Michael Kors, that will be my choice. Um, but I went to um, the shopkeeper, I'm not sure if you say that, um, at Harrods, because they are not really shopkeepers. Um, but I went to this woman and asked if there are any more grey Michael Kors bags, and she said that she's going to have a look. Um, she came back and said, uh, well, here they only have these two, but um, right in the cellar um, there are a few more Michael Kors bags, so I should go and have a look there. So um, I ran back down because first when I entered Harrods, I had a look around and I looked at all the bags and could not find a Michael Kors corner. Um, little did I know that Right in the cellar there is another big um, bag space, so I really ran into the <laughs> cellar, um, to the Michael Kors corner, and uh, again there was a woman and I asked her about grey Michael Kors bags, and she said that they had three. I said, uh, can I have a look at them, because I would be interested in one. and. Um, she came back with two. She said that yesterday they sold one, but um, these two are the ones they have left. And they were different styles than the ones I had seen above. And one of them was exactly the bag I was looking for. And of course, I had to buy it. So here is my new gray Michael Kors bag. I really love it and what I love especially is the silver and not the gold <laughs> and yeah I can't wait to go home and uh, use this so I'm really happy about my choice this is my new bag this is my new purse and I could not have been happier when I left Harrods
Then I went to um, Oxford Street and I was looking for Victoria's Secret because so many people told me that they have great stuff in there and I thought at least I'm going to have a look but I'm not really a fan of that. I was walking around totally lost there um, in the streets. Somehow I went into a back street and I uh, came out in the middle of nowhere and there was a guy um, who gave me a soap outside uh, on the street and he asked if I want to come into the shop and um, if he could show me a few things. It was a cosmetic store so I said okay I have a few minutes why not and he gave me a little um, for free manicure which is great and um, he showed me a few hand peelings and creams and lotions and I don't know what else and um, he wanted to sell me something for about 360 pounds and I thought oh my god uh, that's totally not affordable for me and he went down with the price um, for I think five or six products and in the end it would have cost 100 65 pounds I think but um, the only thing I was impressed of was um, a nail and hand um, kit. He said 45 pounds um, is the price for this box and I said okay I'm going to think about it and maybe come back later and he said no wait um, please stay here um, I'm giving you a student's um, yeah account and you will get it for 25 pounds so of course I had to say yes and I bought it and I think these are really great things in here um, maybe I'm going to make a London haul video about what is in here um, like I said he gave me a little manicure and my nails are shiny I've never known that this would be possible with my nails but it's all because of this stuff so I think it's called Sakare I don't know I've never heard of it but um, 25 pounds for this thing great deal after that I went to Victoria's Secret I was walking around in the shop and did not like any of the things I saw there Sorry guys, um, if you are fans of Victoria's Secret, that's great, great for you. I don't like that stuff. After that I was walking around Oxford Street looking for Hamleys. Um, little did I know that I've walked um, by there I think three or four times and did not see the store, blind as I am, and um, I walked back there and um, took a look in the shop which was really great it's a paradise for every kid and I was filming a lot I was taking a few photos <laughs> but I cannot show you what it is because it's about to present for a friend of mine um, I can just tell you that it's a white something and it's that big and that big um, yeah so this is Hamley's toy store um, like I said a big shopping day for me and after that I took a look at H&M um, 
they do not really have the stuff I was expecting. Then I was at the Disney store. Again, I was walking around there taking photos but did not buy anything. <laughs> And I was looking for Primark so bad. Um, I had no idea which direction I had to go, so of course I walked into the wrong direction and um, after some time I thought okay let's walk down the other way and right after Denham's and Selfridges I finally found Primark and um, yeah it's a lot bigger than in Austria but exactly again the same things like in Austria um, but what I found was this sweater because I thought, okay, I need to get something typically British and London-like. Um, so I bought the sweater in uh, the man corner. So this is not a girl's sweater, it's a man's sweater and I wanted something that's bigger than all the stuff I have because um, I think it's more comfortable if it's bigger. I also bought these two scarves. So one will be a present for a friend I'm not sure which one and the other one may be a present for my brother. After that I finally um, went to the tube and came back to the hotel and ever since that I've been in my room um, trying to figure out which things go in where in my suitcase because tomorrow I'm going back home and I hope that my suitcase won't be too heavy <laughs> because as you can see, I bought a few things and I really hope that everything fits into my suitcase. But I think this was a great last whole day in London and as great as it was, I can't wait to go home. And I'm so afraid of the flight tomorrow. Uh, again, this, this scared feelings and ends all that excitement and also yeah i can't even explain in words what i feel right now uh, when i'm talking and thinking about flying tomorrow so i'm dizzy nauseous and all this stuff at the same time so i hope i will be well um for the flight tomorrow and that there are no problems with the flying. So maybe I'm going to make a video tomorrow. Um, and if not, I will see you when I'm back home. Bye.